In Thursk. Morning, Jim. Morning, Tony. Are you both all right? It's a few weeks since Peter treated Jean and Steve's calves gin and tonic when they weren't feeling very bubbly. You look beautiful, don't you? You're a couple of stunners. They had a tad of pneumonia. Temperature was 105 points so. Yeah. Oh, is it that bad? Peter's coming this morning to do a job for me. And if he does a good job today, I've got a little surprise for him. If he does it right, if he doesn't do it right, I'll be telling him. The last time I was with them, two new calves, gin and tonic, were under par. So I'm just going to pop in today and see how they are. And if they are doing OK, we're going to disbud them, which means we're going to remove the baby horns off these two so that they can't do any harm in future. We've got a brother Jelly helping out today, so we're all on board. And Peter can get leg over again, as usual. <laughs> Good morning, Mr and Mrs Gray. Morning, young fellow. Morning, Mr. Mr. Oh, it's Steph. Wasn't Grumble? I've heard there's a gin and tonic in here. Is that right? Gin and tonic. Well, these two look as if they've recovered nicely, Jane. Oh, the tickety boo now, lad. Unky Dory. Unky Dory, Jack and Ori. Is that a new t shirt, Mrs. Green? Yeah, what do you think? Queen Jean. I think it's very. Ha 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 ha! Bees knees. Well, I'm not going to comment on your knees anyway. <laughs> we well, think about I it, have sonny. I'll get back when I can, Mrs. Green. I like a lot of banter with Peter. He's like me. He can take it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have a bit of fun in life. It's time to give our. Gin and tonic are looking absolutely fantastic. So I think it's fine today to go ahead and remove these horn buds. In time on a tradition. You ordered him, Jane. I'll add him soon and you play it. <laughs> Peter's starting with gin. <laughs> right, Pete. Right, we might, be, end. might be able to get him done there. We're just putting uh, local anaesthetic now and uh, numbing the nerve that goes to the new horn that's growing, and this will just take the pain away. Right, good. I think what we'll do, we'll get the burner going. I think I might just put my leg over here. Yeah? <laughs> I go. Come on, Right? I think I can. Come on, Pete. That's it. Are you right? Can you just bring that but this put a little bit closer for me? Thank you, Mrs. Green. You're welcome, sir. You're not feeling that, are you? By gosh, that's worked nicely. Right. Let me just check, make sure I've got that. Just a little bit there. Right, that'll do, we're done. Right, you jump off, Pete, I've got them off. Well, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important that we do remove these horn buds because these horns can do an awful lot of damage, not only to each other, but I know a number of farmers over the years have been very seriously maimed and it'll safeguard Steve and Jeannie from getting into harm's way as well. How are we doing, Jean? All right. Right. This one's going to be feisty. This one's going to be feisty. The sea animals take after their owners. Yeah, well, it takes one to know, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, behave. At Jean and Steve's farm... Right. ..Peter's not relaxing with gin and tonic as he removes the young calves horn butts. That's it. Right, lovely. Because Tonic's proving as feisty as her owner. You're right, this one's more lively, Jean. Oh, it's as weak as a tiger. She a live wire? Yes. <laughs> oh, she's a live wire, isn't she? Well, I'm blushing your bloody cheek, you know. <laughs> These calves are very cute at this stage. But as they grow older, they develop horns, which they use for fighting, particularly around feet troughs. So taking them off at this stage is painless, least traumatic, and then as they grow older, they can't do any, any damage. And uh, everybody's, to coin a phrase, unky dory. It's easy to see that this isn't painful at all. That's it. Lovely. 
Absolutely. Right, Pete. Don't bully you. Right. Well, the DR in Van Dunkey Dory, Jack and Ari. They look harmless now. So they can't bully. And they can't bully me neither. Went perfect. I had no complaints. Passed with flying colours, lad. They're well turned, Jean. Not like you lot, bloody ruffians. <laughs> And after a cocktail of hard graft and provocatively named calves, it'd be rude not to. I got a little treat. Will you come with me to picnic, Turbo Lad? <laughs> Here's a bit of GNT. Well, most kind. How civilised and how refreshing. Well, aye. Oh. Cheers, Mrs. Green. Good health. We've come down here for 38 years now, and in true Harriet fashion, over the years, a lot of the people that you work for, they become like friends, and Stephen Jean are no exception. I'm going away with a smile on my face and a spring in my step. Ah, beautiful. Nice. Well earned. Well earned, Jean. And it's to the future, lad. He's a grand lad. Won't swap him for the world. And I love him. Cheers, Pete. Thanks for the work. Cheers, Mrs. Green. It'll put hairs on your chest. <laughs>